Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. We've published the teardown video for the power supply of Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. And today we're gonna take apart the final one. The power supply of Xbox Series S. This power supply is only 165 watts, so the size is smaller. Let's take it apart and take a look at what's inside. Unlike the power supply of Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, this is a typical rectangle. And a metal plate is covered on the back. And here is the manufacturer date. Here is the input socket, which is protected by a metal case. Two prongs at the output are convenient for assembly. Here is some information. Model is 1921. It supports input of 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 2.3 amp, and output of 12 volts, 13.75 amp. The manufacturer is Chickney Power Technology. This is a conductive sponge, and the PSU is in the upper left corner. The logo of the Master Chief in the Halo series is in the lower left corner. There are many holes all around to enhance heat dissipation. Next, let's take it apart from the side. This is the Black Fire Titan plastic. And the charging module is fixed on the other side. The Microsoft brand logo is at the center. The front components are sparse which can reduce the heat buildup. The metal plate can also dissipate heat evenly. And this is the black insulating plate. Charger Lab found it also adopts the topology of PFC and LLC. And let's start from the input. The varistor, surge suppressor, Y capacitor, two safety X capacitors and three combo mode chokes are on the left. The electrolytic capacitor and PFC boost inductor are in the middle. The resonant inductor and resonant capacitor are on the right. The specs of time delay fuse are 4 amp 250 volts. The capacity of safety X capacitor is 1 microfarad. There is also a small combo mode choke. The second safety X capacitor is placed between two common mode chokes, 0.47 microfarad. The green surge suppressor can suppress the surge current. The bridge rectifier is fixed on the small heatsink. Remove the capacitor. The PFC boost controller and mass control chip are under it. The PFC boost controller adopts NXP TEA19162, which is used to boost the rectified voltage. It integrates X capacitor discharge chip and supports high precision voltage regulation. And the mass control chip is marked with SH3P0022T. The right PFC boost MOSFET comes from ST Microelectronics and adopts TO 220 FP package. 650 volts, 0.28 ohm. And the left rectifier diode comes from Lighton, with 10 voltage is 600 volts. The largest electricity capacitor is from Qinxian, 450 volts, 100 microfarad. Two LLC half-bridge MOSFETs are from AOS AOD280A60 and adopts TO-252 package, 700 volts, 0.28 ohm. This is the LLC transformer from Chickney Power. Here is the blue Y capacitor. Remove the heatsink. Two synchronous rectifiers are under it. They are from ST Microelectronics for LLC synchronous rectification. 60 volts, 2.8 milio. Two Everlight 1019 optocouplers can protect the circuit and regulate output voltage. And the synchronous rectifier controller comes from MPS MP6924A, which integrates two controllers inside. It can support operating voltage of 4.2 to 35 volts, which can be used on 140 watts USB PD 3.1 power supply. The specs of two solid capacitors are 16 volts, 1000 microfarad. Two current sense resistors are used for overcurrent protection. Here is the output prongs. Well, that's all components of the Xbox Series S power supply. Like the Xbox Series X power supply, it continues the highly integrated topology of PFC and LLC. And both of them are made by Chickney Power Technology. 
Since it only supports 165 watts, so the size is much smaller, making the Xbox Series S thinner and lighter. The internal components come from well-known brands like NXP, ST Microelectronics, MPS, AOS, and Chinsen. If you're interested in the teardown video for the power supply of Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, you can click the corners to take a look. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you in the next video. Bye!